Hey guys, you're watching Jet Plays. I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com, a website about video games, board games, comic books, and other nerdy pursuits. And today on the docket, we are playing Overwatch on the PlayStation 4. Um, this is a game that I've been meaning to cover for quite some time now. I didn't necessarily jump on the bandwagon when it first came out in June, but I did jump on a while back and really enjoyed it and for whatever reason I just never got around to covering the game and uh, well better late than never we're near the end where it's probably going to get named game of the year at a lot of different outlets so I think before that happens want to cover this game and talk about my experiences with it and I know we're pretty late to the bandwagon but that's okay we're going to play a little bit so, um, when this game came out in about June, it was not on my radar at all. And a couple of things are happening at that point. I was really into Street Fighter V. And not just because I really liked the game, but I was in the midst of training for the uh, World Gaming Canadian Championships. So, very busy. I wasn't playing much of anything other than Street Fighter. Uh, then on top of that, I was about to get married. So we were, when I wasn't practicing, I was helping uh, plan out uh, Steph and I's wedding. So then we went on our honeymoon, then I came back and I was really sick for a while, and yeah, it wasn't until, say, August, where I finally bought the game at Fan Expo in Toronto, and um, I really liked it. I still really like it to this day. Um, I love the variety of the different characters and how they impact play and that how this isn't a game about it's not a Call of Duty style everyone's the same but then you get like different loadouts and stuff uh, all of the characters feel very unique very unique skill sets and it's almost like a first person version of Street Fighter in that sense where all every character has pros and cons good matchups bad matchups and the whole point of the game is mastering a number of different characters and I really like that aspect of it um, on top of that like it, the game looks amazing it runs great online oh man ah I'm saying yeah it runs great online I've never had any issues with it it's super well produced and for that I think it's awesome um, maybe at some point I'll get into the the particulars because I'm not I'm a pretty casual player I play intentionally as diva because she fits my playstyle of unlimited ammo fast automatic weapon just hold the trigger down and keep firing until someone's dead <laughs> And I don't necessarily care about the... Oh, here we go. Get the drop on this guy. Got him. Alright. Oh. Okay, if we can hold out for a few more seconds. Yes! Ah! Alright. Uh-oh. I'm almost dead already. This is bad. This is real bad. <laughs> Can I take out at least one? And uh, no. Alright, nice try though. Oh yeah, this game's been a huge hit. Uh, selling really well when we went to Fan Expo. Uh, noticed that a lot of people were wearing, wearing Overwatch cosplay. I think D.Va was the most popular one, but there was a lot of, pardon me, the the Western guy, McCree. I don't know. I don't know his name. I don't know the names of most of the characters in this game. Um, but the oh, excellent designs. And they're a lot of fun to play in this environment. So. Okay. Oh damn, this is bad. This is real bad. Uh -oh. Okay. 
Oh man, I had no chance. That's okay. I'm feeling um. Stop this payload. Whoa! Too many people, too many people. Oh, we gotta gun this person down at least. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn, that person has like unlimited health. We can just stay alive a little. Oh no. Damn. And also, gotta admit, I haven't played much of the different game modes. I kind of just stick to quick play. I know there's a lot of unique ones in the arcade mode, 3v3 and all that. Oh, that was dumb. Kill anyone on that. Yeah, I should be blocking more. Oh, crap. There we go. Yes! Exactly what I meant to do. Oh! Okay. Come on, we just need to hold it. Oh man, this is not looking good for our team. I'm gonna hold out for four minutes and I'm right here at the spot. Go. Oh, they snuck up from behind. This is looking bad. Whoa, what the hell is that? Okay, I'm just gonna hold on to my suit just a little longer. No! Damn it. That was really bad. Oh man. I blew it. That was a great opportunity to get a multi kill. I got I got two. Oh no. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up.
Well, 141. We've held on for as long as we have. That's pretty impressive. Damn it! Ah. Uh, that's no good. Alright, maybe we'll try one more. We'll see how the matchmaking behaves. Ooh, let's go see the play of the game. Oh, wow. There's a nice triple kill there. Oh, four. Damn. Wow, block that much damage. Oh, depressing, if I do say so myself. So I think, um, one thing I'll mention here, and is that I know I've been doing a lot of video content stuff, and you've probably seen um, a post on it on the site in thirdperson.com. I've been messing around with streaming, which is something that's been long overdue on the site. Um, yeah, for a long time I didn't stream, partially because I couldn't get the, the software working in a way that I could show my face and the video at the same time without the game completely crapping out and just stuttering. And also my bandwidth was a big problem, where I had a hard data cap and uploading stuff to the internet uses up a ton of data, and I just didn't have the speed. Uh, I could not play an online game and stream at the same time. So I've addressed at least one of those problems where we're able we have um, we have a new internet plan that has a wider bandwidth that allows me to play online games and stream at the same time. So that's good. Um, but I still haven't been able to resolve the face problem. So you are going to be deprived of my beautiful face for the next little while while I do these streams, but hopefully I can resolve it. It seems like the big problem is my CPU is too slow, and a lot of the, the software I see says I need to have at least an i5, an i7 processor, and I'm running an i3. So... <laughs> Um, stuff happens. I think in the Elgato app in particular, um, the my audio, like my ch my talking audio, isn't in sync with my webcam video, so that's a little bit of a problem. Uh oh. And everything else looks fine except for that. Um, one of my. One of my friends also suggested getting a dedicated graphics card, because right now I don't have that. I'm streaming off a laptop, which I know most people would scoff at, but, um... Yeah, that's kind of my situation right now. This is the, the computer I have, and I think if I want to get super serious about streaming, I'm going to need to invest in some better hardware. At the very least, a new laptop, or a new computer, probably a video card, and probably a microphone as well. Alright, let's go do one more game, and then we will wrap this up. So, Game of the Year. Um, what? We've got Game of the Year coming up. Well, I mean, a lot of outlets are working on theirs, or presenting theirs now and just want to throw it out there what is your game of the year is it overwatch is it something else uh, going into this year I thought that Street Fighter 5 would be that game and not necessarily even if it was it lived up to its full potential probably not the most exciting pick for game of the year um, then the game came out and while the gameplay was fantastic Everything else about the game was pretty bad. We don't have to regurgitate all of that here, but there was a lot about it that was uh, was a failure, and I I couldn't 
even though it's probably it's one of my favorite Street Fighter games and I played it a lot, had a lot of success with it, I can't overlook its flaws as a consumer product. So that's not my game of the year. Um, I know Overwatch is going to be the game of the year for many people. Uh, not for me, only because I haven't played this enough or gotten into the details of how to play in a team environment to fully get the most out of it. That being said, uh, this game is a lot of fun and I recognize that it's a quality product and for those who... Oh, we got we got five ki player kill streak. what? For all sorts of reasons, this game is fantastic. Yeah, great character variety, great gameplay. They've added in a lot of more, lot more modes with time. Still, would love to see. I think that's the one thing is like a little more story-based stuff, where this game is essentially just online multiplayer only, and there's no. I think there's an opportunity to have some sort of story mode. I don't necessarily think the game around it is built for that, but they've built this entire cast of characters who people love, and the character designs have so much personality. Man, we got a 10 player streak going? This is ridiculous. Oh, come on. I should have blown it up right there, but that's okay. What was I gonna say? The characters have so much personality and they're so beloved that I believe there's an opportunity there to I think showcase those people in some sort of dedicated story mode or campaign. Though I don't know how you make that into game, maybe it has to be a completely different product, but opportunity is there. Oh, Whoa, what the hell? Whoa! Oh, and I just got smacked with the hammer. That's okay. Uh, 11 player kill streak is pretty great. Okay. Great, we've got our special ability locked in. We are going to. Where are they? Here we go. Oh, that killed nobody. Great. Yeah, coming up soon, I mean, while we're talking about Game of the Year, um, I will have a post on it's either New Year's Eve, I think it's New Year's Eve, where I outline my Game of the Year, and if you follow the site, in thirdperson.com, it will probably come to no surprise to you, but to me, it was a game that, man, this guy is super agile, it was a game that completely caught me off guard. Because I, this game was not on my radar at all, and it ended up completely consuming my life. So that was awesome. There, we go. there he is. Aw, oh, damn it. Yes! Alright, I just need to stay alive a little bit longer. There it is. 
Alright, we're almost there. I think we got this. Yes! Much better result. And hey, I got to level 10. Hey, play of the game! Let's see this. Oh yeah, this was at the beginning, so... One... Two... Three... Four? That wasn't all that exciting. But! Uh, 17 eliminations, 49% kill participation. Uh, come on, just a couple more votes. No, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get that epic. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Glad we got that one on video. <laughs> Um, so with that, we are going to wrap things up. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, we got a loot box. Okay, we're going to have to open that loot box, and then we will head out. Um, uh oh I want to leave here. Uh, open my loot box. Okay, yes. Alright, let's open this up, see what we get. Okay, what, 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 what... Got this as a player icon. Bastion. A ornament. Spray, I don't even know what these are for. Um, victory poses for Sombra. And another spray for... Yeah. So, that... Let's wrap things up here. If you enjoyed the video, uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe on youtube.com slash jet in third person. And check out the website in thirdperson.com for more videos and articles about video games, board games, comic books, and other nerdy pursuits. So until next time, my name is Jet from in thirdperson.com and